At the beginning of the year, documents regarding the case against Ghislaine Maxwell, assistant to billionaire Jeffrey Epstein, were published. The decision was made by a federal judge in New York. Only part of the protocols has been made available to the public. Soon there will be new portions. However, not all the names mentioned at the trial will be declassified. Some of the victims who provided testimony will retain the pseudonym Jane Doe, while the suspects will completely forfeit their anonymity. However, a total of 200 surnames will be made public. So, to the Caribbean Sea Island, which belonged to Epstein, practically all representatives of the American and British political, cultural and business elite flew. Most, dozens of times. Among them are Bill Clinton, both former American presidents, George Bush Jr. and Sr., the brother of the current British King, Prince Andrew, Mark Zuckerberg, British Prime Minister Johnson, the head of the Israeli cabinet, Parag. Understandably, a few of them were frequenting the island brothel prior to assuming office. Many, afterwards and others, during their stay there. What is the reaction of the exposed? In brief and impolitely, she is like that. Yes, we are astonished. So what actions do you plan to take against us? Any comments regarding the alleged statement about your connection with Jeffrey Epstein? In my opinion, the evidence is clear. Epstein was initially incarcerated 15 years ago. Well, as they planted, he spent a total of 13 months in the private wing of the Palm Beach County Jail. Then he was set free, despite the fact that the rape of a minor and the coercion of a teenager into prostitution were proven beyond doubt. American themis can be gentle. On the second occasion, they took the pedophile seriously. In 2019, he realized he'd go to prison for a long time and even influential patrons wouldn't save him. Epstein was on the verge of speaking. But suddenly he tragically took his own life in a manner such that the 24-hour surveillance cameras did not witness the process of his suicide. In general, this is a commonly shared hobby among individuals who plan to expose representatives of the American establishment. As soon as an individual is about to disclose the crimes of the Clinton family, they abruptly alter their decision and, in a mysterious manner, end up deceased. In the Epstein case, everything was as per usual. The life of Clinton's assistant Middleton suddenly becomes unbearable. The supplier of teens to the elite Caribbean brothel Jean-Luc Brunel will meet his demise before the trial begins. Or here's the model Ruslan Koshunov, who wasn't on the island of Epstein during the visit and suddenly went out the window of a skyscraper at the age of 16. But now it seems even sweeping away the traces is considered unnecessary, and indeed why? Here is Prince Andrew, the younger brother of the current British king. Several proven episodes of pedophilia, and although this is the most serious crime, everything is resolved through pre-trial agreement. Now His Highness lives peacefully, Goria does not know. Indeed, scandalous provocateurs organize scandalous performances at Buckingham Palace. So, in case they persist in being insolent, they will be sent to prison. Are you aware that Prince Andrew is a pedophile? Hey Brits, these individuals guard Prince Andrew, a close friend, pedophile Epstein, and also a pedophile. Here on American television screens, a portrait of Clinton in a blue dress began to flicker. He was hanging in Epstein's office. This is a power move that signifies you belong to me. Epstein demonstrated who was the dominant in their relationship and who was the subordinate. This is definitely nonsense. The passengers of the infamous Lolita Express do not consider their visits to Epstein as compromising material. There is no judgment on them. And all these owners of Google, Microsoft, Facebook, shareholders of the United States Corporation and owners of the British Kingdom simply spit on the moral condemnation of the plebeians. There is no crime they cannot commit with impunity. Moreover, the worst thing you can think about them, multiply it by a hundred, and it will be true. Actually, this is what the everydayness speaks of, the scandal that did not thunder. Planetary elites are completely beyond the control of both laws and citizens, and now they are busy organizing it. Nikita Mokotkin, Oleg Romanov. 
in the main broadcast.